Hi FM. We return yet again to the Venstravaganza Schmincke Super Granulating Paints in Chapter 3, Part 2, covering the Volcano, Desert, and Shia series. And the cake is still alive. So if you are not familiar with the Venstravaganza series, I will link the quick intro, which just shows that method to the madness if you're curious. And I know, I know what you're thinking. More grievances? Really? Uh, yeah. Sorry. It, yeah. So, and again, to be fair, I am thorough to a fault. There is literally, there is, there is no kill like overkill. So, you know, take the grievances with a grain of salt. But when you as a company invent a new term or concept and the whole shtick, the whole sales pitch is based on that new concept. And it is literally the reason why everyone in the watercolor community is just drooling over these paints is this concept that you're fixating on and then and then we're fixating on and then you know you turn around and you break your own rules i say these these inconsistencies they they bother they just they they bother they bother me why, why do you not follow your own rules? They are the parameters that you set. You know? It just... it. Just, mm. So, okay. Real, so, real talk. <laughs> I, take, I take issue with the Volcano set. The Volcano set... The, just... The Volcano Yellow and the Volcano Red are not super granulating paints. I know. This might come as a surprise given the fact that they're in the super granulating paint set. Right? That log logic would suggest. But this is this is why the cake is still a lie. So hear me out. Right? So Schmincke reported on this site and it's the I think the most recent iteration of the PDF that like goes over all of the colors and detail and everything. So, Schmincke says, These are watercolors with a special property. The combination of at least two granulating horridum pigments intensifies this effect to supergranulation. The colors are formulated with the pigments from different color ranges, resulting in additional color changes besides the granulation effect. Super. However, the Volcano Yellow and the Volcano Red are single pigment paints. There's no combination to be had. And then, and then, the, it also says that all super granulating horridum aquarelle colors have exclusively four and five stars light fastness and contain only pigments already known from horridum. So, okay, let's, let's pause. Already known from Horridum. Okay. No. <laughs> no. So, no. The vol so, the Volcano Yellow is made of the pigment PY159, the only professional brand watercolor paint that I am aware of that has contained that pigment as a standalone paint, or maybe at all. The only one that contains it <laughs> is Windsor and Newton. And it's, I want to say it is, yeah, it's the, the Lemon Yellow Deep. Schmincke does not have the PY159 in the Horridum line. At least right now, it's a no. It's a nope. Firm nope. So, it just. So they don't. Uh, Correct. I am assuming. So I mean, I know that they're trying to stay consistent, All except people. it's kind of not. It's but you know, perhaps we're making some minor exceptions since just 
there was there there are not a lot of warm colored granulating paints or pigments so just because there are so fewer options you know like and that's and that's understandable um just you know the the the, the number of granulating pigments is not infinite but and I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to, to sit here and call the Volcano series the mostly super granulating paints, but just, just good grief, Schmincke. Just, just, do you, do you know how difficult this makes things for the people who are struggling to apply terms that you have created towards the rules that you have broken? It just, I'm just saying, you turn in the struggle bus into a party bus and it's just, I don't, I don't like it. I, I don't, I just, so, okay, I'm going to get off my soapbox. Just pardon me for a moment while I get over myself, <laughs> but just, ah, uh. and then actually, do you know what? No, and then because I want to say, I just saw on Jackson's recently that they're now selling the volcano trio of the super granulating containing the volcano orange, violet, and brown, and it doesn't include the volcano yellow and the red. Maybe that's them trying to be consistent. I'm just, I'm going to stop overthinking. Anyway, you didn't come here to listen to me whine, so let's carry on. <laughs> so, okay. Moving on. As before, the colors I am using here, they're just duplicates with what I already have on hand. Take the color study for what it's worth. If you want to see scans of these, please check below in the place with the stuff. I'm going to post them on my blog and we will grab Mr. Black Square and we will be on a merry way. So actually before, be, actually before even, let's just, so okay, we're just going to have a quick waltz, if you will. There are 11 paints which contain the pigment PY159, okay. They are the Shia Gray, the Shia Green, the Shia Olive, the Desert Orange, the Desert Yellow, the Shia Blue, the Shia Yellow, the Volcano Orange. I don't know what other what the other continents are. The Desert Brown, the Desert Gray. Did I already say the Desert Gray? No, I did not. Okay, the Desert Gray. I'm sorry. <laughs> and the Volcano Yellow. Eleven paints. So there are six paints which contain the pigment PR108. They are the Volcano Brown, the Desert Brown, the Volcano Orange, the Volcano Violet, the Desert Green, and of course the Volcano Red. Ironically, uh, two pigments which raise my mostly super granulating paint grievances are in every single paint. Every paint in these three series contains either PY159 or PR108 or both, you know, just, just like, and again, it's just, I, I understand that there are far fewer granulating pigments which are warm rather than cool, that, like, that's, that's totally fine, but just, that just, this is where we are now, you know? <laughs> So okay, I'm an, I'm I'm actually going to stop whining now and start start swatching now, shall we? So okay, let's let's just let's just be on our way. So there is only one paint which contains the pigment PB74. That is Shia Gray. So the Shia Gray I have labeled SGR. That contains PY. 159, PB74, and PBK11. You know, I did reactivate all these paints, but I don't think it really took. There we go. Shy graph. Okay. Next up, there is only one paint which contains 
the pigment PG18, that is Shia Green. So Shia Green, I have labeled SG. That contains PY159 and PG18. Okay. Next up, there is only... You might be noticing a pattern. There's only one paint which contains the pigment PB35, and that is Shia Olive. So the Shia Olive, I have labeled SO, SOL, sorry, SOL, <laughs> it contains PY159 and PB35. This is going to be a very bumbly video. Sorry, fam. Bear with me. Okay, there is only one paint which contains the pigment PBI 33, and that is the Desert Orange. So the Desert Orange I have labeled EO and contains PY 159 and PBI 33. Fun fact. The desert paints I am designating with an E and not a D because back in chapter one, um, the D was used to designate the deep sea paints. So I am, you know, just keeping it consistent, if you will. Next up. There is only one paint which contains the pigment PBI7, that is Desert Yellow. So the Desert Yellow I have labeled EY, and that contains PY159 and PBI7. Next up, there is only one paint which contains the pigment PB29, that is the Shia Blue. So the Shia Blue I have labeled SB, and that contains PY159, PB29, and PG26. Next up, there is one other paint which contains the pigment PG26, that is the Desert Green. So the Desert Green I have labeled EG, and that contains PI108 and PG26. This is an awkward. I know you are not scoring me based on my ability to color inside the lines, and I thank you for that, because I'm not great at it. Look at that. Cool. Next up. There are two paints which contain the pigment PV62. They are Shia Yellow and Volcano Violet. So the Shia Yellow I have labeled SY, and that contains PY159 and PV62. Then the Volcano Violet I have labeled VV, that contains PV62 and PI108. So there are six paints which contain the pigment PI108 
but for now we're just gonna kind of keep on a merry way and we'll only worry about the volcano orange for the moment we're gonna we're gonna come back to the other stuff so the volcano orange I have labeled VO and it contains PY159 and PI108. So the the rest of the PI wanna wait. We're just gonna we're just gonna bench for the moment and we will come back. There are four paints which contain PBK eleven. They are the Shia Grey, Desert Grey, Desert Brown, and Volcano Brown. The Desert Grey I have labeled EGR. And that contains PY159 and PBK11. Okay. Sorry, I have these lined up in a kind of bizarre order, and I'm sure it made sense when I when I when I when I lined these up. <laughs> It does not entirely make sense now, but that's okay. I'm sure we will get there. Or we won't. One of the two. Desert gray. Okay. The desert brown I have labeled EBA, and that contains PY159, PR108, and PBK11. And then the Volcano Brown, we will come back to. <laughs> um, because I want to finish, want to finish my volcano. No, not my vol. I want to finish the PY159 shenanigans. So that is the Volcano Yellow to fill in the center. Volcano Yellow, I have labeled VY. It contains PY159 and nothing else. Um, this is a big space. This is one of the perks of water brushes, is so long as you are not empty. You can make it work. Uh, I believe so. Hansen believes we can make it work. You might be able to hear him in the background. <laughs> okay. Moving right along. So, let's go back to Volcano Brown which is the last of the PBK-11. So the Volcano Brown, I have labeled VBA, and that contains PI-108 and PBK-11. Okay, I'm 
Okay, so we've already filled in the desert brown, the volcano orange, the volcano violet, the desert green. So all that's left for the PI 108 is the Honkin Sana, the volcano red, which I have labeled VI contains PI 108 and nothing else. Are you going to be my co-pilot? Come here. Good job. <laughs> now you got to sit. You're not going on the desk. Oh, earthquake test. Sit still, buddy. Dexter wants attention, and Dexter feels that he hasn't gotten attention, but he wants you to make him feel like he's the only cat in the world, and that's just not always possible, so he's going to have to deal with it for the moment. That's the casino. That's, that's just... A lot of my time. That's just where we are. <laughs> he's a drama queen. Right, buddy? Uh, the ride back to Ulta is always free. Volcano okay, no red. No, you're not coming on the desk. Sit down. Okay. So. Okay. So, no, 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 no. Leave it alone. Thank you. Okay. So. And again. I have utmost respect for Schmincke. They make fantastic paints but yeah i guess my lukewarm takes is um it 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 feels like at least for me personally there's there's not much horse left to beat you know um but the paints they they look fantastic i absolutely love them the duplicates that i used here they just they give them no justice you should Definitely, I recommend you go look at a review or a painting done by somebody who actually owns these paints because they are gorgeous. But, but no, please don't. No, we're gonna leave the no. Uh. We're just gonna. If you sit down, you're okay. Okay, you turned my light off. I, that's just where we are today. So, okay. <laughs> Buddy, you're killing me. So, okay. Did I buy any of these paints? I did. I bought. You are not stepping in wet paint, sir. Curl up. I bought a half pan of Volcano Yellow. Now, I do enjoy mixing duplicates of these colors because I already have a lot of these individual pigments on hand. Do you know what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna, I'm very sorry. I already have a lot of these individual pigments on hand. I love granulation, I love texture. I think that's what makes watercolor such an amazing medium, at least for me personally. I don't know that I'll purchase any more of these, texture please buddy, any of these, mixtures specifically but you know for now i am happy with my one half pan but should you buy these fam don't ask me ask you ask you what do you paint typically what do you paint with do you adore any of these colors do you like granulating paints <laughs> really <laughs> Am I not paying enough attention for you? <laughs> I give up. You know, even... <laughs> even if you already own a boatload of PI-108 and PBK-11. You know, Mars Black Cadmium Reds. 
if if you enjoy mixing the two of them constantly, there's there's nothing wrong with grabbing a tube of uh, volcano brown and enjoying your convenience mixture. You know, it's a nu or I mean, you know, if if you want the paint, buy the paint. You know, but or you also have the option you can swap dots or pans with other friends and i'm just saying another superpower of watercolor is the happy mail capabilities i'm just saying that is something that i that i do with my friends regularly is we'll send each other you know dot cards or actual half pans of paint in the mail because watercolor man you know it's just it's great so anyway i'm i'm clearly shut off for the night um, <laughs> my question for you, my fellow mess makers, have you gotten any of these paints? What do you think of them? Or do you already mix some of these on the reg? Let me know. And any questions, concerns, or sarcastic remarks, please do not be shy. Otherwise, until next time, take care.